Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Piece of PlayStation, uh, a series where I look at the uh, PlayStation library and the games that I am not that familiar with. Games that, uh, you know, well regarded, but I never actually played all that much. Uh, and today we're looking at a game which I've always wanted to play. Uh, it's called Ape Escape. Um, and Ape Escape, a game, it's booted up and you can see... If you can probably see that right here, the analog light is already lit up. This was a game uh, built for uh, the analog controller. In fact, I believe you can't play it with, without the analog sticks. So, um, yeah, they definitely had that in mind when they made the game. Uh, so let's uh, jump right in. I wonder if there's a little start video for this one. For those of you who have never watched this um, channel before, if you've never watched my channel or watched my videos, what I'll do is I will put 30 minutes on the clock and play basically from the title screen to the first 30 minutes uh, in the game. Uh, kind of give you an idea of what the game was like. All right, this looks amazing already. I'm going to start before this demo ruins any more surprises. All right, well, all it's got is a load or new. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit the new game. I guess there's no options, huh? This must be a start video. Alright. Well, I'm going to hit the start on the 30 minutes, starting now. Hey, Spike! Did the professor finish the time station yet? Are we going to get to go back in time? He said he'd be finished with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Hey, wait up. Better hurry up. So the story starts literally the first line. Hey. It's about a time machine. Spike, Jake, over here. Watch out. Spike, the time station. <laughs> no. No! Run, you two! Stop that monkey. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Now, I did start a new game, right? I'm just wondering about... No explanation about the these monkeys, where they came from? That must be the ringleader. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, it starts off at level 10. In terms of insanity, <laughs> where does it go from here? You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre, and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land. Spectre, James Bond's um, the the organization, the evil organization from James Bond. Back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The Stun Club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the Time Net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. Spike. Okay. That was one of those kids. There's four monkeys in this level, but they only need me to catch three. Alright. So, triangle obviously is the little stunt club. Looks like a lightsaber. Okay, okay, so you use the... 
the right stick. Yep. Okay. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around. I want to jump. This is a weird control scheme. Oh, okay, I see. So I hit that thing and that's why. Oh, cheeky monkey. The stun stick doesn't work, man. He's not very stunned. When you've tossed all your cookies, your mission ends. Okay. L2. To look around. It's inverted, which is very annoying. Uh, okay, there's options in here. Uh, okay, well, that's annoying. So. Uh, no, I don't want to exit that. I just want to get back to the game. So, um, there's no camera control, which uh, I know this is supposed to be fairly standard for a lot of these earlier games. Watch gotcha, your little monkey. Sorry, I don't know what you are, but... You give me cookies and stuff. Gotcha. Yes! Okay, so they don't let you continue. As soon as you get your quota, they zap you out, huh? out the monkey data I don't want to try those out but... monkey data is something that I'm very interested in Um, yeah, I'm, I'm saving my game because, uh, as I learned with Driver, sometimes games can crash. Again, it's a very old console. Can I go to, is, will this take me to the next stage? That wasn't clear. Weird. Okay. The primordial ooze. Okay, let's go here. Enter the stage. But I've got a new gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Okay. He's, he's kind of grooving. using left stick exit the water by jumping near the surface of the water use the r1 button to jump speed up press the r1 while swimming resurfacing the faster you swim the faster you'll win okay 
Reset. Uh oh. <laughs> Triangle. Push left into dive. Take away for me to go forward, swim through the water, under the waterfall. I mean that up. Press the right stick in to launch the net. Use it to catch the monkeys in the water. Oh, I see, I see. So we're going to dive down. Thanks to pass. Don't forget that you can swim fast by pressing the R R one button. Okay. Have fun, says the prof. What is his name, Professor? Who's this? Capture four monkeys, uh huh. Let's go. Things are. Is that monkey throwing poop at me? I'm gonna bash him. Press the LZ button to move. Okay, no, no, that's what that is. I'm pressing the L1 button. I'm gonna move behind you. Ah, okay. So that's how he resets the camera. Cool. Ah. Like, these games just really... Show you how far control schemes have come over the years. Like, they had everything they needed at their disposal, right? But... What these golden things are? I haven't yet explained that, but just stick in the sweet core. Oh, ah, uh. ah, uh. where'd you go? Two more monkeys to catch. So I can't 
time of that. So this. That monkey. One more monkey to catch. Um, have I been here before? No, this part I've not been to. So, just from underneath? No, I guess not. Ow. Oh, you. that croc looking guy are you friend or foe this kid <coughs> it's funny that he's able to say oh no as he drowned did I get that golden thing I don't know what even know what it was um, was it in the space no it might have been in the space You did great. Thanks, Natalie. Quick save. Loads up a menu for you to save. land okay so it does say that I've got that <coughs> it does say that I've got some kind of goal thing I don't know what that does for you but who are you get okay, four out of seven huh I think this game is doesn't look as good as some like some other games that I've been playing. I think back to like even Driver and Driver would have been about the same year as this one. That door is blocking the way. I a red switch. No, you didn't. Yeah. Yeah. 
pretty well then. Although... This game is <laughs> like bizarre. Hmm, no explanation. Like I said, it starts off with hey, time machine. You don't know who this kid is. Not a baby. Out of my way. Don't be fooled. Can I go up here? Oh, hello. Um, I think we want to. Oh, you got... <laughs> How can I... Again, this must be like... You need like some kind of slingshot or something, right? Hey! Come on, bro! <laughs> Can I help you, man? You got a... You got a monkey... On your tail. You gotta get that monkey off your back. I like the font. I think that's a nice font for this kind of game. I think aesthetically, it is um, very cohesive. Like the look that they're going for, I think is well realized. It is certainly Look what I've got. unique. Okay, what you got for me? Here's a monkey radar. 
It'll help you track those monkeys down. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. <laughs> I think that's a good looking gadget. I'm going for it. Oh, okay. guy he animates well oh I see <laughs> you must set up each new gadget in order to use them oh I think it's, so that means you have to assign it to a button is that what he means spike you're now on your way to the mysterious time of the jungle ruins you must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen before go on to explore the temple ruins but be very careful the temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already noticed one thing. The apes have varying fields of vision, so in most cases you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly if you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. We're counting on you. <laughs> Who is Spectre? Where did Spectre come from? That's what I want to know, old man. Why does Spectre have his own, like, poster? Hello, there he is. Remember me? It's me, Spectre, the future leader of the New Age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world, just as it should have been from the beginning. Spectre, what ha who, what's going on here? What are you planning to do? Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? Yes, that's right. I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours. This peak point helmet. And it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. And now, I plan to rule the world. And I owe it to you, Professor. Spectre. You must listen to me carefully. It's true that the Peak Point Helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the Peak Point Helmet back to me immediately. Bring it back? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. Uh-oh. There's no stopping us now. The future is mine! <laughs> Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> Huh, Spike will find you. Just wait, you'll see. We're not gonna stand around and let you take over. Spike? That little runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. Uh-oh. Jake! <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. I'm gonna have a great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. Uh-oh. What's happening? What's wrong with you? Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Snap out of it! Yeah, Jake. Or should I say, 
Chuck. No use. Somehow he's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. The boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. He works for you? He I earns a wage. And no one, no one can stop me. Especially not you. Well, I've got to go now. But I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Okay, well, asked and answered. I wondered who Spectre was. And that video explains everything perfectly. Now, this is more the kind of music I was expecting. Let's go! Ah, uh, okay, so, what's it all, uh... Gadget. There we go. There's a few more to come, huh? That is 30 minutes. Okay. I do want to just try and sneak up on a monkey. Oh, damn it. Get it. I like to take the they throw banana peels at you. Oh. Come here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> God damn it, I got defeated by that monkey. Oh well, I guess it's a sign. All right, I think we'll, uh, we'll stop. So, that is uh, Ape Escape. Classic PlayStation 1 game. One of the, uh, a game that uh, demands use of the analog sticks. In a weird way, in a strange way. But uh, again, you know, this is like... This controller would have been the first of this kind of design. So I can imagine him just like, but what do we do with these sticks? And now we kind of like figured it out. We know that your right stick is your your camera. The stick is usually movement. <coughs> and that's um, something that we've figured out over time. So the controls are strange. Not, a, I mean... It's easy to say bad, but I don't think they're bad. I just think that they're different. I think um, they had a plan for, like, in mind when they came up with the control scheme. Um, but I think, like, because decades of playing games a certain way and using these sticks in a certain way make it hard to break those habits. But still, um, yeah, it's pretty novel. Uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun. I mean, game the game itself, tons of fun. So much character in like um, every little thing, like the the the, the music, the, the in-game characters, the the fonts, the fact that you have cookies as your health bar, uh, all of these things, are amazing. Now it explained, for example, who is Jake? Why is he there? Who is the professor? Is this a Back to the Future situation where you have you know young kids 
I have a weird um, friendship with an old man um, who was building a time machine. Uh, but anyway, that is going to wrap up this edition of uh, a piece of PlayStation. In fact, I think this is going to wrap up the series for now. Um, really enjoyed delving into the PlayStation and this is not even close to scratching the surface of what's available in this console. Um, if you have a game that you think I should play on the PlayStation, uh, drop it in the comments. I love uh, getting recommendations from uh, the people who watch these videos. I feel like the so far the people who um, find my videos seem to be of a similar uh, mind to myself. Uh, you know, like watching these uh, or playing old games or fans of old games. So I feel like I get some pretty good recommendations um, from people in the comments. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up. If, uh, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have more coming in uh, on other consoles. I have other series as well that I've already completed making. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, hopefully see you in the next video. Thank you. Goodbye.